is the shirt in question. Get ready with me while I tell you all of the legitimate parenting advice that was given to me on my video that went viral about my four-year-old daughter who purposely peed on me to delay going to school because she wanted to watch TV all day. So over 7 million people saw that video of me telling the story about my daughter who is four years old who decided that she wanted to watch more TV instead of going to school. So she peed on me when it was time to get dressed. Thing about my daughter. She is a really good girl. She's a great listener and she is very helpful. Anytime I ask for help, she always helps me and is actually helpful in what she does. But when the girl wants something, the girl's gonna get it. She is extremely strong-willed. Video got me a lot of hate. Bring the actual hate, let's talk about the legitimate parenting advice I received on that video. A lot of people were telling me I should spank my child, which is hilarious to me. The reality of what has happened is that my daughter did not have the ability to explain her feelings and talk through them. So spanking my child as a response to her inability to communicate is only going to teach her how to not communicate, giving her a physical punishment. That makes no sense and I will not be doing that. One person told me that I actually should apologize to my daughter for not honoring her boundary of not wanting to go to school. This person seems to fail to understand that her going to school means that I can then go to work and I am the breadwinner of my family. So if I were to honor my child's request of not going to school and then I don't go to work, I would then lose my job, which means that we would then lose our house and we would be homeless. When I brought that up to the person, they said that I would need to find a job that understands that parenting comes first. And when I explained to them that the excuse of my daughter doesn't want to go to school versus my daughter is sick is two very different things. So it would then teach my child that if she doesn't want to go to school, she just doesn't have to go to school and mommy just won't go to work that day. Like I have to go to work, uh, children have to go to school. That is the way that the world works. People were saying a four-year-old is a baby, which just makes me wonder if you've never met a four-year-old before because a four-year-old is not a baby. <laughs> and a lot of people seem to think that eventually my child will go no contact with me and never speak to me again. Um, because I didn't accept her apology when her apology was simply to just be able to wear what she wanted to wear to school that day. I failed to understand. What I said in that video was that I was upset with her and that she would have to apologize at the end of the day because I knew she was just trying to apologize to get what she wanted. Also, just for the sake of clarity, this is the shirt that she had to wear to school instead of the princess dress. This is a perfectly nice shirt. There's nothing wrong with it. It's super cute. Come on, people. What struck me the most is how many just amazingly perfect parents commented on that video with advice about how to parent children, specifically my children that they've never met. And then when I go on and look at their page, they're 18 years old and don't have children. I'm doing a mascara giveaway, so I'm gonna do my mascara in the next video. Cheers.